الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدي وحبيبي أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في محكم تنزيله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فمن حاجك فيه من بعد ما جاءك من العلم فقل تعالوا ندعو أبناءنا وأبناءكم ونساءنا ونساءكم وأنفسنا وأنفسكم ثم نبتهل ثم نبتهل فنجعل لعنك الله على الكاذبين صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات الله posting a question to people who usually ask a question saying where is Ahlul Bayt in the Quran? You the followers of Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam you always talking about Ahlul Bayt, Ahlul Bayt, Ahlul Bayt is Ahlul Bayt mentioned in the Quran and if they are, where is it in the Quran? Where can we find it? In the Quran, where Allah speaks about Ahlul Bayt Tonight we want to stand, we want to find out if Ahlul Bayt mentioned in the Quran or not. When this question was asked, Imam Ali Ali Yaqtalu Salatu Wa Salam Imam Ali answered by saying, "In the Quran, nazala ala arba'ati arba, farubun fina ahli bayt." Look at the Quran; it's divided into four. It's a one fourth of Quran is all about ahli bayt, Ali bin Musta'lam. But all you need to do is to get the guide from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. To see the light of Ahlul Bayt in the Quran. One of the ayahs that is clearly talks about Ahlul Bayt is this ayah that we read in Surah Al Imran, ayah 61. Before we proceed, why did this ayah was revealed upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The Mufassirun tells us that Ibn Abbas and the rest of the Mufassirin. They say the reason why this ayah was revealed upon Rasulullah was a change in the style of Rasulullah. The Prophet changed the way he approached people in calling people to Islam. So in that year, Rasulullah sallallahu started sending invitation to whom? To the group of people and the leaders calling them to Islam. So the letter was sent to a group of Christians in a city called Najran, which is Yemen today. Rasulullah was inviting them to Islam. When they received the letter, they said, this Muhammad, they don't call him Rasulullah because they don't believe in him as a Rasul. So they call him by name. So I'm calling them, they said, this Muhammad that sent us a letter, he thinks he's a prophet. For us to be able to prove to him that he's not a prophet, we have to do something about this letter that he sent. What should we do? 
They say, let's go and debate him, proving him wrong, proving he is not a prophet. So what should we do? They say, let's choose the educated people among us, the most learned people who know how to argue and reason to go and dispute Rasulullah and prove him wrong. If we are able to do so, then we win. They did have a meeting. The narration said they chose 14 of their well-educated people, well-learned people among them, and they have 30 other people to join them. To go where? To go to Medina. To prove Rasulullah that he is not a prophet. They got themselves ready. They started their journey. From where? From Najran to Medina. They entered Medina at the time of Salah, where Rasulullah was in the masjid, praying. MashaAllah, they came with drums and all kind of music was going on. They have having fun. Why? Because they declare internally they are winners. So they started jubilating, having fun before they get to Rasulullah. So they came, Rasulullah was in the prayer, in the masjid. They went direct to the masjid. They entered the masjid with their drums, and that's what they do usually. The Quran says, "وَمَا كَانَ صَلَاتُهُمْ إِنَّ الْبَيْتِ إِنَّ الْمَسْجِدِ إِلَّا مُكَاءً وَتَسْدِيَةً." Muka, a song, and cross. That's what they do. That's their prayer. <laughs> so they entered the masjid while the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was performing salah. The Prophet وسلم, finished his prayer and he saw that mashallah they had gold and silver and diamonds and nice beautiful nice looking clothes when they entered Imam Ali السلام, went to them what can we do for you they said we're here to meet Rasulullah to meet Muhammad say Muhammad is praying if you can wait, inshallah, when he finishes, he comes and talks to you. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam finished his prayer, came and welcomed them. And this one first point here is to tell those who think and believe that Islam is, the, is, is a religion of bloodshed and Islam is a religion of fighting. Look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Christians came to Rasulullah in his masjid. No invitation, nothing. But he welcomed them in the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is one. Number two, after he welcomed them, they say, Ya Muhammad, we want to go and pray. Now listen to the answer of Rasulullah. Rasulullah said, Who are you going to pray for? They said, To our God. Rasulullah said, This is the house of God too. If you want to pray, pray here. This house is meant to be the house of God. So you are also welcome to pray here. To understand that Islam is not the religion of sword. Islam is not a religion of fighting. As though some people might understand. Or as some people might think. So Rasulullah said to Imam Ali, Ya Ali, give them a place in the masjid for them to pray. And not only give them, also, Ya Ali, make sure that they are comfortable in Masjid Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar, where can you find this akhlaq? Wa inna kala ala khuluqin azim, Quran says. They did pray, pray, they, uh, pray in the Masjid. After they finished their prayer, they came to Rasulullah. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we came to talk to you. Rasulullah said, You're welcome. What do you have? What can I do for you? They say, Ya Rasulullah, tell us. Ma aqidatuka fi Isa. What is your belief in regards to Isa alayhi salam? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, Inna huwa abdullah wa akhi wa nabiyu min anbiya illa. They say, ha, look, Ya Muhammad, look, stop there. Why? They say, that is insult. You are insulting us. Isa alayhi salam. Sa'udhu billah. Isa is my brother. Why would I insult him? 
at a matter of fact, he 